Hello everyone, the time has come for me to share with you yet another trading plan. This week we are going to take our attention to the Canadian dollar Japanese yen currency pair uh, where we will look for both way scenarios, both uh, buy and sell. As usual we are going to check the daily, uh, I mean the weekly time frame first. Um, input some major levels there. Uh, then we'll go down to the daily, again input some levels and uh, targets and then uh, go to the H4 and decide what we can do there. Live signals will be posted uh, on our Twitter page as well as in our Telegram channel uh, where we already uh, posted a few signals last week which gave some uh, good profits above 100 pips. And so far we have posted a few signals this week and it's only Tuesday. We'll continue posting signals there, so join the Telegram channel. Okay, let's get started. What you can see now on the screen is the uh, CAD Japanese Yen uh, weekly time frame. And a few things I want to mention here are those uh, weekly resistance area and the weekly support area. Those will be our major uh, zones. Now they are defined by previous movements of the price and as you can see here we had a reaction of the price here as well. Uh, so here it reacted as a support, here as a support again. Uh, here this weekly resistance acted finally as a resistance uh, area from where the price dropped heavily for a few weeks. Now the support is marked, as you can see, it still haven't been broken and this is a period of a year, uh, actually even more. So those will be the main uh, areas that we will take into account if the price reaches them. Uh, as you can also see here, the price reached close to that weekly resistance, but so far for the past two weeks uh, has been dropping. Now turning on some indicators, uh, if we turn on the Ichimoku we can see that the pair is currently in a downtrend, uh, the price is below the cloud and also the 200 SMA again uh, same condition confirms the downtrend. Uh, unfortunately it is too far away from the current price levels uh, because if it was something like that, it would be perfect because this is would be a double confirmation for a continuation of the downtrend. But still, the main point we have is the pricing is in a downtrend. Uh, obviously, I'll look for mainly for sell opportunities, but let's check on daily and what possible scenarios we have. So first of all, we have a few areas here and this is our main one which is if we consider this as a range or an ongoing range uh, this is the middle of the range and it is also a daily support area so this area stops H4 trends. Uh, you can see here that it acted as a support here for a while it acted as a resistance here and then it acted so far as a strong support, it was broken here, uh, then acted for a while, like for a day here as a, uh, again, as a resistance. And now the price, you can see that today it almost touched this area and so far it ran away from it. So at this point here, until this uh, daily support area is broken, we can look for possible buy opportunities because at this point selling here won't be good. Uh, the price already made a nice swing down. So on the H4, maybe it's time for a correction. So what we can expect here is, uh, first of all, we can see a bounce from this daily support area and a retracement to this target one zone, which, uh, we can see uh, acted strongly 
as a resistance a few times before. So stopping here as well, uh, even here. So this zone uh, stopped H4 trends and a new trend began. So if you uh, decide to uh, look for buy opportunities somewhere here where we are at the moment, I would advise you to take in some of the profits when the price reaches this target zone here. Now, uh, from here, if we see that move up, I expect another move down, probably reaching uh, deeper into the daily support area. And then maybe we will see another correction inside of it, maybe a consolidation here. And then a new wave down reaching to this uh, target zone, which is our uh, sell target zone. So if you uh, manage to sell somewhere here, for example, or like here, or even here, I would uh, advise you to lock in some of the profits inside of this area. As you can see, we had a strong uh, change in trend there. And here also a reaction from that zone here as well. Uh, so yeah, keep in mind that zone. The weekly support is the more long-term target. So taking in some of the profits here would be good. Then maybe uh, now I'm talking a little bit in more long term, we can see another correction here and this area to turn into a resistance. So a new wave down to probably reaching the weekly support there. Uh, at this point, this is the scenario is possible for me. I will look for buy opportunities here until that target zone, but my main uh, incline for this and my main uh, attention will be to look for sell opportunities opportunities in the long run. Now, as well, that on the daily, as you can see, the 200 SMA is uh, perfectly showing a downtrend. Uh, maybe if the price retraces to here, it will touch the 200 SMA line, bounce from it, and this will be a double confirmation. Also, uh, if we turn Ichimoku, we can see that the price actually broke uh, the cloud like yesterday, actually two days ago on this candle here. So uh, this can also affect uh, the possible uptrend from this zone. Now on DH4, we can see that currently the price is kind of standing into a a square formation consolidating. You can see the Bollinger's are closing from below. So that means the downtrend wave uh, has stopped for a while. Probably we'll see uh, some square being formed here on the H4. Let me mark it. So something like that. So you can go lower on the M30 or even M15 and for example if we see a break of uh, this top here you can look for a buy opportunity until the target zone if you see a break down here I would advise you to uh, take some of the profits when the price reaches like somewhere around here because for sure we'll have a reaction from this uh, support area that's all on this plan uh, i hope you enjoyed it follow us on twitter join our telegram and stay tuned for more profits thank you very much for the attention